I want to see the Alliance map. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Bassam and I have a chance to save Sigurd. But we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. I will go now. And I'll bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Croydon by now. I want to see the Alliance map. What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. Isn't it, men? Life in the rough, in the... You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another skull come to join us? Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no scald, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your meat. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. Every warrior in this clan deserves a song or saga, Lord. Why Eivor? Because her name alone dries the tongues of my enemies. If such a hero fought beside me, I'd fear nothing. What is your name, Lord? I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family. That is a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. It may be we can help you, but we'll want something in return. An alliance between our clan and yours. And you shall have it. My father is a great friend of the Danes, in spite of the recent wars. You sing a sad song, Hunbald of Lincolnshire. A son robbed of his father's protection. Now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? 
Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now, but when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. Ah, you are the chieftain here. I suspected as much. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of a shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the rune. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that. I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord's boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. Humboldt's back. Drinking and jabbering as always. So this is Hunval's safe haven. Is that a bottomless stomach, I see? You win if you can down it faster than me. Smell that fear. Palpable. So this is Hunval's safe haven. Though we be a mercy sire today, tomorrow the kingdom of Lindsay will rise again. Hunwald. Who is this stranger? Eivor! Come, sit! Bread and ale, please, alewife! I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me. One of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We're going to see your father, Hunwald. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Hunwald, I don't know your friend here, and not knowing him, I don't trust him. I'm his voice of reason, Eivor. And I've told him a thousand times it's too dangerous for him in Lincolnshire. Listen. I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes! To Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard! A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here she'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in! Let's not break our bones without some alcohol to dull the coming pain. Hey, wife! For these stout Saxons are round on me. Well, let's, uh... uh... That's kind of you. Unexpected, like. <laughs> Cheers to this day, one who knows the true worth of silver. <laughs> you canny fox. That was incredible. Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. 
I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new. You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. He'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions, I'd warn that stupid boy. I'd be the most written about man in history. Alvgar, the boorish nag of Lincolnshire. I told Hunwald to stay near. Where did he wander off to? Hunwald's in trouble. They call this place. Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Bottleston will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Hunwald, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairals and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me? What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky! Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river Wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Hungry for his inheritance. Here's Lincoln, the city of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows. Damp on the air. I fear grey clouds will gather soon. Aye, foul deeds of. Dear Reagan hair, body and soul, tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Who took the Elderman? Was it soldiers, or men of God? There were men with swords, and those of the cloth. 
And a healer, too. One who had oft been a guest in this house. Galwina. One of the sisters my father put great faith in. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there, at the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. Run the place, and he's. No! Oh, You're one step, brother. He helps run the place, and he's known me since I was but a little lordling. A simple fellow, but worth every inch of his soul. Returned. My lord, you're well. Lord Hunwar, you should have sent forewarning of your return to avoid the violence that dogs you. Lives might have been spared. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north. Bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. I have no patience for insults and rumor. We've come to speak with Lord Hunbior. That's all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed. What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Unwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against a Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. Kunwal's seen the point of a dagger more than once this week. I'm only here to protect him. Your father was at my hospice for some days, and very well treated. But he left in secret. That's all we know. In secret? That's odd. He's not one to scurry about in the dark. I'm sorry, Hunwald. We have searched high and low for him, but to no avail. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scurrying thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I will have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. Recuperating here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. <laughs> Jet, need to get on the other side. Get 
Are you the head sister? Please, don't hurt me. These poor souls need me. Calm, sister. Lord Hunwald sent me. He asked me to speak with the people here. Hunwald? That's not a name I expected to hear again. No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins just south of here. I will look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care. Ranti. Was the Elderman fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? should not be seen in this area. More Mercians traipsing across our routes. Can't piss from here to Bolingbroke without someone demanding some ungodly deal. Oh, this crap in the smuggling in different jobs. Smuggling will always be... I prefer it to paying tribute. struggle between nobles and bandits. The bandits did not fare so well. Noble's cloak with the image of a swan. Looks like the elder men passed this way. I know a lonely door that would love to leave this key.
Saxon noblemen paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbrook Castle. Mercy and nobles made a deal with some bandits. Paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles. But it did not end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away and headed east for Bolingbrook Castle. That's my best lead. Is prepared. Shall we begin the washing? Hey, who comes? Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman? Your Elderman is long past the days of good conversation. Yet still, he makes good company. I've been instructed to wash and prepare his earthly vessel. Instructed by whom? Soldiers. They brought him here as he protested, feebly. I did my best to make him comfortable, until he slipped away. Hoonwald deserves to know the truth about his father's fate. He is owed an inheritance and deserves a chance to become Elderman himself. All in good time, I imagine. No, now. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I have seen all I need to, but Hunwald will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. Dried herbs and berries, crushed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is... longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. A box of musty clothing, and a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Hunwald in Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. I do not know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. Eivor! What news? Your father is dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Hunbeor's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong. A pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... He... <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer. Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son. Do not forget it. He has been dead for some time. That was obvious by the state of his corpse. One of you knows more than you're letting on. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. Hunwal was the son of an elderman. Will he take his father's seat? The title's not hereditary, but he can plead his case before a shire moot. King Chaelwulf must then ratify the decision. Explain how this works, your Shire Moot. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our Shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot, but between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. Someone in the Shire wants Hunwald dead. If I have to assemble an army to make sure this meeting is not an ambush, I will. The Shire Moot is a lawful, godly assembly. Hoonwild will be safe, as will you be. Apart from Hoonwald, who else will stand for the Elderman's seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land, and I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire and will convene in a few days' time. Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor, a word if you don't mind. Is the word Christ, or Pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my God commands, with kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes, quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. With Hunbeor's death an open secret, Hunbol's enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. Archer went to console him. I should follow her. Archer, where is Hunwald? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road, to the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. Hunwald loved you like family, and you lied to his face. In my way, I was trying to protect him. Oh, Saint Cuthbert, give me strength. Oaths and ale work better than your prayers and saints. That must be the tree Atcha mentioned. Hoonwald may be nearby. Oh, these woods. I remember the days we spent here together. Here, upon this... <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, Vol, what a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Unwald. Come, s sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate. Contemplate. Contemplate the view. Let's have a drink. To the memory of your father. Here we go, a-sailing among the leaves so green. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the mead of your eyes, and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the m most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbeorth of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. A white old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then, my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humour, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right. Your Dane lady love, she sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, uh, Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Now come, and enjoy the splendor of my Shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You have never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords like a giant's axe wound? Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter? Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels? That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendorful, why come to England at all? You cannot grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ha! Ah, very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish and experienced. But I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. What was that? Birds, Eivor! Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Shh! Quiet. Shh! Stop here. 
Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Well struck, Eivor! That's twice they tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed! We had luck, but if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead, and they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away! I am serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear! Follow me! <laughs> Hunwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes! Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her! I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. You really have been courting a Dane. It's a side of you I did not expect. People say we're an odd couple. I do not care much what people say. As every boat needs an anchor, every man needs his swan burrow. The light of my life. Eivor has been my champion as I stake my claim in Lincolnshire. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. ...then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here out of sight until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. 
Hunwald, no. The Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. We had a deal, Hunwald. My aid for an oath. If you won't stake your claim here, then I have no reason to lend you my sword. I'm sorry. My will falters from time to time. After some rest, my senses will return. Lie down, love. You'll be fine. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I do not doubt it. Eivor, I'm pleased you came. Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Alfgar, it's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You're flush with land and crops, to be sure. You're a brave man to flaunt your riches from this lonely hill. It's not bravery, it's trust. I trust the respect I've earned keeps Saxon and Dane alike from temptation. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Uh, yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. If this belonged to the Elderman, shouldn't it go to Hunwald next? I suppose so. But I thought you a more fitting recipient. You'd know how to use it. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shire moats. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. To be plain, Eivor, a great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it, if only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear. Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to leave this shire. Though its line of kings is old and ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your... Uh, your thunder god. Uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herefriz and Hunwald say. You Danes are damn decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived, not long ago. The locals were terrified. Are we hunting, Algar? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. The bear's lair should be nearby. Hmm? Ah, my old friend Grim. How wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right, very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. Don't be frightened, Grim, but I believe Elvgar has arranged for us to meet. 
Oh, goodness. I've been discovered. But it's nothing untoward, I promise. I'm an honest man, and I believe that all people should live together in harmony. That's all. Hey, Leivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear. That's the point of all this. We're hunting, I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgar claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry. This is the threshold of a beast's home. There's no doubting that. Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough, and I can't tell you how to handle this. Please! My god, help me with this! I'm in this fight with you! A clutch of puny mercy. The men who would see you burn are dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Elfgar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toil. <laughs> Heaven! The bear is returned! The Shiremoot will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. Away, beast! Away! You won't cover me any longer! Elgar, careful! There, you see? Didn't I promise you a rousing hunt? Brilliant! 
Simply brilliant! The Shire Mood will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. Archer, is everything ready? Yes, I'm curious to see this Shire Mood for myself. I will follow. When will the vote begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones. But they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. Elfgar and Hunwald were attacked recently, and your bishop remains fearful. It's clear someone wants this stopped. They tried, yes, but they did not succeed. Praise be to God. I kept them safe, not your God. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. Good evening, Elvgar. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It is a difficult choice, Elvgar. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say unreservedly that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I do not doubt your convictions, Lord. A vote for Hunwald will return the House of the Ferocious Swan to its former glory. Free men, free possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It is not for myself I must cast the stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Hunwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Leave your shire with pride, ferocious swan. It is decreed by this lawful Shire Moot that the Elderman of Lincolnshire shall be son of our dear and departed Lord Hunfjord, Lord Hunwald of Lincolnshire. I... I don't know what to say. I thank you deeply, madly, Humbly. What more can I say? I... I don't know. I miss my father. I'd sooner see him standing here than... Well, I will do my best. For each and every one of you. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken this Shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your Grace! What is this?
Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! Steal yourself in war. Mother of God! Another battle! This one's gone. Find those who still draw breath. Polish your ass, Hunwald. The Elderman's seat is yours. As your war council, I suggest you waste no time in catching this grief tosser. He won't be far. We should first bury our dead, no? That choice is yours to make, Elderman. Yes. Yes, of course. We'll bury our dead, then raise a feared. I am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. I will pray for these martyrs, and tend to the remaining wounded, until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God, or... or the gods, protect you. Daylight. What news, Hunwald? We've learned that Herivrith rode for the fort at Anicastre following the massacre. I have assembled a feared there. Quite a large one, in fact. They eagerly await your orders, Eivor. You mean your orders, Elderman? Ah, yes, that's right. My orders. Which are... Which are what, exactly? Who can say? Ride with me to your camp and we'll find out together. Herivrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? It's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Herivrith is a new and ugly stain on a bishopric. Your Christ was an interesting man, if a little soft. But stranger still. I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Hunwald. One verse of our song remains unsung. The din of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. 
Don't let that proxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Acha taken all this? She and Herevrik were so close. She must feel as though the devil himself attacked her monastery. The poor lady. We spoke briefly. Her spirits were low, but her work carried on. I think we she are the Manipulated by... Here's the camp, do you see? The fear will soon be ready for action. Give them mead and let them rest. There is hard fighting ahead. Our warsmith has arrived. The feards are ready to fight. Chieftain Avel, can we win this fight with the men you see assembled here? If they fight with the bravery of double their number, we may. And is there room in your Valhalla for a ferocious swan? Of course. Let fly your glorious banner. Are we ready then? We attack now. Ready the fiat. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Mm. The best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along. Get out of the way! Here, Eivor! We'll have for you! No. Me to the bishop. No one else need die today. He he's he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Scabrous coward. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment. Tabas in Philly saw a promoted Aramis Venetian. 
behind these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I did baste myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Herifrith. We wallow in our failures, like happy pigs in a sty of shit. We should have learned to enjoy it. Eivor, is he... is the bishop dead? He bled too little and talked too much. Now he's gone. I won't miss him. But Atcha will need some time to grieve. Lincolnshire is yours to lead, Elderman. The hardest fight begins now. The din of battle still rings in my ears. I think I now know what it means to be a leader. Good. I would ask a favor, if I could. Name it. As Elderman, my life may be a dangerous one. For a time, anyway. Would you allow my Swanborough to take refuge in your settlement? At least until I feel all danger has passed. We'd be happy to have her. Thank you, my sturdy Norse berserker. The mead halls of my shire will be lonely without you stomping about. Our people are bonded now. We must look out for one another. It. I am a horror with goodbyes. It'll do for now. Now it seems the wind calls me back to her. Best tell her the good news. What? Lincolnshire is a friend to us. Wonderful news. And who is our ally there? The boy Hunwald is the new elderman of Lincolnshire, and he has sworn allegiance to us. The loud one, an elderman? Well, should he ever wish to call for aid, he need only shout. <laughs> 